Hey guys, it's Jessica with Exploring the Local Life. I just wanted to catch you guys up on what we've been up to and what our first three weeks in Florida have been like and how we have survived boondocking. So here we go. All right, so we are about three weeks into our trek up the East Coast. We started out by going to Florida first, and that's where we have been. Our very first, oops, my camera's going, whoops, my camera's going crazy here. It keeps trying to focus on something else. Yeah. I have a, we have a Fayou for our computer that acts as a stabilizer, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So what has it been like? What have we been doing? Well, the very first thing that we did was um, head to Thousand Trails. We went ahead and purchased that membership and it was great. We stayed there for about a week. We had full hookups and it was the Thousand Trails in Claremont. And we got to watch like fireworks over the lake and we got to go to the pool and we were just down the street from like another family that RV'd full time that had like seven kids. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. After that, we uh, left and we started heading north. We were trying to boondock with somebody and through via Boondockers Welcome, we decided to join that group as well. And I don't know, there was a miscommunication and we ended up not being able to arrange a time with them. So we ended up uh, parking in my parents' driveway, which was really unexpected for us and for them. My mom had said, never are you guys gonna stay with us like that. <laughs> my mom does not get the RV thing. Um, I think she's a little embarrassed that her daughter has chosen this life instead of living in a more traditional type of setting. But they let us stay there for a couple days and then we stayed at a friend's house all in their driveway and we did have electricity. Uh, they also allowed us to fill up our water at their place which was really convenient. However, we did not have access to sewer and we did not have access to constant uh, water intake. When it was time to go, we did go to a dump station nearby. We did have to pay about $5, but that let us empty our tanks and it worked out really well and it was pretty convenient. Then after that, we headed to another friend's house where we are staying right now on 40 acres. It's pretty awesome. We're surrounded by cows and buffalo and all kinds of wildlife and we are absolutely loving it. Now here we have been a lot more on our own, I guess you can say. We have not had access to electricity. We have not had access to sewer. Oh, and we have not had access to continuous water. So we have been using the generator. The weather has been fantastic, so we haven't really had to run the AC yet. It's a perfect spring in Florida. Temperatures in the 70s. We've been getting fantastic, as you can see, flow of air. Hopefully you guys can hear me and I don't have to redo the video, but I might end up having to do so. We have been able to dump our gray here in a very discreet location. Uh, obviously not the black. And once we leave this location, we are headed to an RV park with full hookups. So we will probably stop, just not even worry about uh, the black tank before we head there. And that's really been all. Something that we did figure out is that uh, generator is kind of overkill for what we need right now. All we really need it for at this point with this beautiful weather, I apologize for my hair is just like all getting in my face with the wind. We've been using it mostly to charge our devices and that's kind of ridiculous. Um, so we really need to look into solar and figure that out because running a generator just so that we can have computers working so that I, you know, we can get work done is, I don't like that. I think it's kind of an inefficient way to be using the generator. Of course, as summer approaches and we are in hot weather, uh, we'll probably need to run it with a generator, but we need to find an option. If we can find something cheap solar along the way, I, I don't know if that's even possible, but we may do that just for charging the devices. So we'll see. So things are going really well and we're having a wonderful time. So there we are. That's pretty much what we've been doing. We've been learning a lot about our water usage. We need to tone that down, use less water. We are thinking that definitely we need to do 
a composting toilet at some point if we're gonna continue boondocking so that we can use the holding capacity of our black tank and actually have some gray water in there as well. That would be magnificent because then we wouldn't be having to dump our tanks as much. As far as uh, overall water usage, we've been doing dishes and things like that and that really uses up a lot of water. As far as like showering, things like that, uh, yeah, when we are boondocking, we don't really do too much showering. Something that we did learn about that we've been loving, Epic Wipes. Holy cow, these things are amazing. They're huge, they smell good, they're all natural, and we have been using these to take our baths. The regular wipes, I know that they sell like baby wipes and whatever wipes, and they're tiny. Um, they don't really have to use a bunch of them versus using one of these. They're terrible, magnificent. We love them. Almost too big for me to use, <laughs> but they have been fantastic and we have been using these for sure. And we have a special, if you wanna um, try using them, go to epicwipes.com and enter local 10 when you're checking out and you will receive 10% off of the product. Try them out. They have been great for boondocking and any type of outdoor sweaty ickiness. This takes it right off. Epic wipes. Hope that you will join us for some of our other videos here in Florida. We've got another week left and then who knows where we're going except up the East Coast. But we're gonna be doing about a video about a backup cam that we have, that we love, and we'll be reviewing that and we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. We love you and have a great day. Bye.